So it's um, a Friday night and I'm at home filming myself, not because I'm antisocial, but because I have no friends. But I asked you guys what video you wanted to see and y'all wanted to see me put all the makeup products I hate on my face. Probably because you wanted to see me look the worst I possibly can. So that's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make myself go from a 5 out of a 10 to a 0 out of 10. In this bag, I have all the makeup products for a full face that I think should never have been created. I could sit here and give you a disclaimer about how if they work for you, then great. They didn't work for me. But I genuinely think these are shitty products. Um, yeah, I hate every single one of them. And I'm going to tell you why. So let's get into it. What could possibly go wrong? I never wanted to do this video. I'm gonna break out. This is gonna ruin my life. One product in this video I actually like on my face. I could use a little bit of help considering this is about to go to shit. Um, I already have my brows on. Normally I would do my brows first. I do have a product that I don't like, but I literally can't use it. That's how much I dislike it. This is the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. This is the worst product on the face of the earth for your eyebrows. I do not recommend it whatsoever. It's a good thing I'm not popular because no brand that is in this video is going to want to work with me after this. The product is in there. Then you have the brush. You would think that's genius. It's not. You try to dip this in and you get like no product. Should I try it? Nope, I hate it. It's literally so dry, first of all. Second of all, even if I did like it, once you get like halfway through this, how is this gonna reach to the bottom to get you any product? This is the stupidest packaging I've ever seen in my entire life. I For primer, I'm using the Pores No More Luminizing Primer by Dr. Brandt. And you would think, you only have dry skin, why don't you like illuminizing primer? Well, let me tell you why. I don't know what already started. This is the worst smelling thing ever. It gives me the fattest migraine I've ever had in my entire life. And I didn't know a makeup product could do that to me. I thought only my little brother could do that. It doesn't really give you that much luminosity in the first place. I don't know, do I look glowy? I don't see it. Smell, like it goes away after like five minutes, but those five minutes are literal hell. Clinique Beyond Perfect Foundation and Concealer. This stuff looks so bad on my skin. Legit doesn't even match me. This is going on. So the color doesn't even match me. That's not why I don't like it though. Don't worry. It just separates on my skin. And it doesn't matter how much like, how much hydration I put underneath it. And it is a problem for me because I have dry skin. A lot of foundations like cling to dry patches and separate. Like just because I'm telling the world this, it won't today. But just know, it does. The smell of the primer is still there and I literally want to die. This would be a concealer too and I don't think the coverage is fantastic. Sure, you could build it up, but then I feel like I look like a cakey mess. The head is... My deodorant just fell into the sink. It's fine. I'm fine. How you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I spent all this time in the sun getting tan and this foundation is just taking me back to the pale place I started and I do not appreciate it. I really look that bad right now, so I feel like I'm just eating my words, but you'll see. You'll see. Just wait. Just watch. There's not really a concealer I don't really like, so I'm just going to go on Tarte Shape Tape. Maybe this will save me. I'm going to show you the powder. That's going to ruin your life. This is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. The second you open it, it's just like it flies everywhere. Do you see that? Oh my god, I hope you can see that. This stuff is horrendous. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The powder goes everywhere. It smells awful. Beautiful powder that you can still see even though I'm clearly brushing it away. Because this is like flashback city. Oh, I just put that full brush in my eye. Oh my god, it burns. It burns. And as you can see, that was a sample size. There's a reason why I didn't buy the full one. What should I hate on next? This palette is the Real Her Be Fearless Be Limitless palette. They're baked product. Break. I normally... God, I, like, I can't speak today. This bronzer, literally, I hope you can see that. You probably can't because I have a shitty camera and shitty lighting. I don't mind a little bit of shimmer, man. Like, I really don't. This stuff will ruin your day. Unless you want to look literally insane, I wouldn't recommend it. It's also orange. I would just like to say. I'm using a really light hand because I'm actually trying to make my face look somewhat presentable. I'm sitting on a chair and it keeps going backwards. I don't know what's going on, but it's really freaking disrespectful. Why does this not look that bad? Does it look really bad on camera? 
Oh yeah, look at how patchy it is. Oh my god, look at that. Oh no, never mind. I almost gave you a second chance. Uh-uh. But it's so bad. I wonder if that's the bronzer or the foundation. You'll never know because I hate all of them. So it's probably everything in conjunction. Um, I feel like in like 2013, when everyone was obsessed with this, I'd probably be getting like death threats right now. This is High Beam by Benefit. Well, it's like a nail polish applicator, which makes me very uncomfortable. That's why I don't like it. Like, how are you supposed to get this on without the blush brush like flicking everywhere it's horrendous it gets everywhere like the applicator just doesn't even make sense like it not at all i don't know it just like you might be able to see it on camera but in person like it just disappears it's not even there anymore and the more you build it up the more it just separates and goes everywhere literally like not on my face anymore it completely disappeared it's not there and it's literally just a bunch of little sparkles it's bullshit i can still smell that powder and i want it to go away so bad blush now i love blush blush is one of those makeup products i feel like it's very hard to mess up elf went and did it so i bought this because the color is so pretty it's in the shade cabo cabana it's kind of pretty maybe you can't mess up a blush am i wrong right now oh no it's doing it right there it's like a patch of blush i really hope you can see this i need one of those high def cameras so like people will actually believe what i'm saying for once oh my god it's doing it thank god look at do you see this why does it do that? Why? Like, what What did I do to deserve that? I regret making this video right now so much. I mean, I'll be great at other things, but blush, like, that's, that's my thing. And I can't even make it look better, so. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Bronze. This was the freaking hype, man. I don't know about the shade. I don't think I've ever used this because it scares me, and I didn't really have a highlight I don't like. Because I love being shiny. It's, it's really easy to please me when it comes to that. It's pretty. Okay, uh, it's kind of chalky, it's really not doing much. It's okay, I've seen better. This product, every single time anyone asks me about a makeup product that I hate, it's this one. I would not recommend this to anybody in the world. Like I strongly dislike this palette. I cannot make this work for the life of me and I have tried so many times. Smashbox Full Exposure. You see how this one, this gold looks like it has gotten a dent into it? That's from one time using it. Now let me show you why I don't like this. It ruined my entire night. I'm about to go to bed in the worst mood of my life. I have nothing else better to do with my time than to put a bunch of stuff I don't like on my face, apparently. These two light shades and just put them on my lid. They're just matte. I'm just gonna mix them. And we're just gonna set my eyelids, kind of. It's not doing anything. It's not even showing up. Okay, so that did nothing. Next. Okay, so I'm gonna take these two brown shades you probably can't see them but it doesn't matter because you shouldn't buy the palette anyways do you see anything happening like is there a, is there a difference going on right now because i do not see it i'm gonna rub my eye like till it starts bleeding with this because it's not working nothing's going on this is such a waste of time oh this palette infuriates me and i can still smell the makeup forever powder oh I tried. Next, I'm gonna take this really deep dark shade and pray that something freaking happens. Okay, there you go. That's pretty good. I mean, if you wanna pay like $60 for one eyeshadow shade, there you go. But I don't have money to blow like that. So, it was on the floor. That's really hygienic. It's okay, it's just going on my eye. If I get an eye infection, it's my fault. You can blame me. Kind of getting patchy up here when I try to blend it. Like, it's not really wanting to move. And there's eyeshadow all over me, just in case you were curious. If you feel like I'm being too negative and you, like, hate me right now, I have a lot more positive videos on my channel, so you can check those out. Right now, I'm just dealing with a lot of things I don't like. So I'm getting a little bit sassy. There's, like, no pigment to it. Like, I'm putting straight glitter on my eyes. It's like when you went to Claire's and you buy, like, kid makeup. And... It's just like an overlay above oil. Yeah, that's what this, like there's nothing going on my eye and the sparkles are falling everywhere. If I put something on my eyes, I want it to stay on my eyes. I don't necessarily want it on my cheeks because I would have put it there in the first place if I wanted it there. I'm gonna spray this with some rose water, try to get more pigment. Now you can actually see it. That's always good. I just talked a lot of shit when that just worked. It's stinging my eyes because of the glitter falling in my eyes. Like, I don't know how much glitter they put in this, but it should be legal. Maybe I should try out products more before I start talking shit on them. Because this is actually not that bad. It hurts a little, but you know, beauty is pain. 
Okay, that's what my eyes look like. I'm actually not as upset as when I started. This is the Double Decker Lashes Butter London Mascara. I thought Butter London only made nail polish, but apparently they make makeup. This just like does nothing for them, but make them really clumpy. Like the formula is so thick and like goopy, and the brush picks up so much that it's just like, I don't wanna be a beauty guru, I'm just trying to show you. The filming, it just is a good method to show. This is one of those things that I'm going to get hate mail for. I think I'm gonna get literally kicked off of YouTube for saying this, but this is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss in Sugar Sugar, and I despise this. I love lip gloss so much. There is not that many lip glosses that I dislike. This stuff, like I can't. It's like, I didn't do anything. Like my lips don't even look glossy. And it just clings to any kind of dryness I have on my lips and emphasizes the crap out of it. The last product that I despise is this Cover FX Setting Spray. The reason I don't like it, it's the illuminating one. It puts like pure glitter on your face. Oh, it went in my mouth. My eyes are burning so bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried my best to make these things work, but it just didn't happen. My eyes are stinging so bad. And I need to take this off now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Um, subscribe and leave a comment down below on what types of videos you want to see next. I have a lot planned. I would love to get your input. So I'll see you later. Bye bye. Met her in the club. All the ball is showing love. Can you party with a thug? I'm just trying to show you love.